there's always gonna uh, be somebody uh, in your life that uh, tries to tell you what you can and cannot do. Uh, it's a story in my life. I remember four years ago, I was uh, 282 pounds to be exact. Uh, I was at the heaviest I ever been. I was at the same height I'm at now at six foot two. Some of you guys think that's not bad, but uh, I carry most of the weight in my midsection. I had skinny legs, skinny arms, and a huge midsection. I wore uh, 42 inch pants. That was my waistline. Uh, I, I, I got tired of, uh, you know, feeling out of shape. And, you know, we had some, uh, close friends, family, and other people that I knew going to high school with, blah, 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 that um, had health issues. And, you know, one day I just kind of woke up and I felt that I was like, you know what? I got to, um, you know, get serious and uh, take control of my life. Um, there's, there's no special sob story. I'm not going to tell you guys anything it's super crazy. It was just really about me saying, you know what, you got to you got to put yourself where you want to be at in life. You are the controller of your own destiny to some degree. That's how I feel. That's how I live. Uh, I just knew that I had to be smart about it and I was going to have to learn it and it wasn't going to take time. I mean, I, I, I tried working out before in the past and didn't get too far. At the time, uh, I was about uh, 18 years old and uh, I was working uh, in the oil field. So I'm out here in uh, Bakersfield, California. We're about an hour and a half, 100 miles north of uh, Los Angeles, kind of give you guys an idea. So out here, you know, we have the oil fields trying to make that petroleum, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I was doing that and uh, a good, good friend of mine, you seen him in one of my videos, uh, my buddy Jason, uh, who's, you know, he's been, you know, a writer since the beginning, man. He's been with me through everything. When I was living in LA, working in the recording studios, producing records for G Unit, and I was doing, doing everything that I've been doing over the course of years to, uh, you know, do what I want to do and get what I want to get out of life. You know, he's one of those dudes that's been there. But uh, back to my point, uh, he uh, stayed uh, off the road where I drive, you know, home from work. So his neighbor had gave him uh, a weeder weight set. He gave him some dumbbells and uh, a bench press and a sit-up chair and, our, and, and a curl bar. And I remember, you know, helping him carry it over and uh i was like hey man let's let's start hitting the weights let's get serious he's like oh i'm with it let's do it so every day after work i would go by there and work out work out we didn't know what we were doing you just kind of you know you know do what you've seen in the past from you know watching tv or whatever you know prison shows whatever it is so you know started uh curling and you know we were those guys that were training arms back to back to back and uh, we went strong for about maybe maybe a month. And then, you know, his schedule started getting crazy because he got a job. And then my schedule started getting crazy because they bumped me up to 10 hours a day. I was making some pretty good cheddar, though. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I realized uh, later on down the line, that's something I didn't want to do. But uh, anyway, long story short, it's still a long story no matter how we do it. But... Uh, you know, after doing that, I end up, you know, falling off like everybody else does. They, you know, and more people fall off than fall on. So, you know, I've been on both sides of the spectrum. You know, I want to let you guys know I've, I've not always been athletic. Uh, I mean, to a degree, I've always been athletic, like playing sports, basketball, stuff like that. But I've never been the lean, fit guy who could run and jump super, super high. I was uh, very good at basketball. I just didn't have the physical abilities, you know, I get tired faster than everybody else because, you know, your boy had a little bit of poundage. And, you know, back in high school, I wasn't that big. I was just a little, little chubby, you know, I wouldn't even say fat. But uh, after, you know, 
high school, the oil fields, and then I ended up moving to LA, interning at a, a few uh, recording studios, then becoming an engineer myself, then getting into music production. You end up uh, sitting uh, on your ass a lot. And uh, eating, 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 you know, and I got to the point to where once I became an engineer myself, uh, people were bringing me food, so I didn't even have to get up to get food. And your boy put that weight on. So long story short, I ended up, uh, after that place got closed down, I ended up coming back to my hometown of Bakersfield, California. And, um, you know, I just ate and continued to eat, continued to eat. And uh, one day, I don't know, I just, I can't put one exact, you know, moment together for you guys, but just, you know, in all actuality, just being completely honest, I just decided like, yo, if I don't do something right now, I'm doing nothing but getting older. If I don't do something right now, I'm gonna be fat forever and uh, probably die of some type of heart disease or something like that. Even though I didn't eat too bad, I just, you know, I know it runs in my family and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I felt I had to do something. I was maybe, uh, 22, yeah, I was about 22, 23, and uh, I was, you know, like, hey, I'll get on the computer and, you know, I'll figure it out on my own. And, you know, I've always been a person that's not always going to just take somebody's 100% word for something. So uh, I just started doing research myself and doing my own exercises, and, you know, I wanted to do it my way. So regardless of the way any book said, I, I did the things that felt natural and that I was comfortable with. And then I would go back and, and do some research to kind of reassure things. And uh, ultimately doing that, and not just depending on one standardized book, you know, I end up stumbling, uh, stumbling uh, upon bodybuilding. And that's what really uh, got, got me going. That's, that's what the main thing that's, that's the main thing that put me where I'm at today is bodybuilding because uh, I looked at these guys and I saw how huge they were and I'm just like, man, they, and now it's not just their size. I've never been a guy to be like, oh yeah, it's all about being big. What I was most impressed by was just how lean they were and, and most importantly, how cartoonish they looked, how, how symmetrical and, and just, you know, they looked like statues. So I was like, wow, you know, that's kind of a goal I'd like to achieve. How did the hell did they get so damn big? What did they eat? I know you gotta eat. What, what do they call that protein? We talked about that in, in, in class, you know, during school. You know, so maybe I had to get some protein. You know, what, let me read up on it first. Let's 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 find some nutritional books. So I started going through the internet, and you know, I'm a person that, like I said, I don't just take somebody's word for things. So I just kept searching and searching, and then you know, a couple people online, you know, were recommending. Uh, you know, a couple bodybuilders. So I started searching bodybuilders because you know I was like, oh, they they write books and things of that nature. Let me let me read up on some of these guys. So then I came across a guy named Tom Venuto, and he had a book called Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle, and he looked great. And and, and you know, no homo, but I, I looked up uh, I looked him up and looked up his book, and I was like, yeah, but how come he's not as big as those guys? And then that's when I realized, oh, natural bodybuilding. And see, I've been a guy, you know, I mean, I never had any uh, situations or, you know, been around anybody that was taking steroids, you know. So I didn't know anything about it. So I was like, okay, this guy's natural and, you know, uh, I'm natural, so I I'm, I'm going to listen to this guy. So, you know, I started reading this book and it's very interesting. And, and that moment of reading his book, that week, first week is what really showed me that it was more about nutrition than training. Uh